Kelly's day. I just got home last night. Um, my flight got in around like 10 p.m., which felt like 1 a.m. to me because I was flying in from the East Coast. My voice is obviously gone, and I've gotten maybe four or five hours of sleep every day for the last week. So I, today, I don't even feel like a person. And if it were any other day, I would just not do anything today. I would just lay in bed all day and like recover from my trip. But it's release day. Ruthless Ends, Marionette's book four, comes out today, October 22nd. It's the final book in my Marionette series. And I have never been less prepared for a book series. I knew this was gonna happen too, because I knew it was getting back yesterday. But I also just like so many little things went wrong. Like I accidentally had to re-download the TikTok app. And when you do that, you lose all your drafts. So I lost all of the videos I had pre-made to post today. So I don't have any of those. I don't have anything to post on Instagram yet. Got do that don't have a newsletter pre-written don't have a video for youtube like i don't have anything to post today i also have about a million packages that have built up downstairs waiting for me from the time i've been gone which i think a couple of them are copies of the book which would be great to have today so i think it is going to be a take it easy just kind of hang out day but i am going to try and make like a few pieces of content to post and now that i have all the stuff that's in the packages downstairs, I can actually start packaging up the Kickstarter orders. So maybe we'll get started on that today, I don't know. I'm gonna have to reach out to Backer Kit because I still have to charge shipping and I'm using like a beta feature of theirs to charge now that I'm like ready, but I still have people who haven't filled out the survey so we don't have their address and I have no way to contact them because the email they listed was like a private Apple ID, which they don't get emails to, which is why they haven't seen the survey yet. So. I don't know if I'm just gonna have to refund those people and they're just not gonna get their stuff because I've posted like a million times everywhere I can think trying to get everyone to fill out the survey and there's still just people who haven't. We'll see. Um, happy release day. Welcome to a new vlog. I'll talk to you later. I'm gone like four days and this is what happens. We are already not off to a good start. How hard is it to package these well? Good God. I thought these were gonna be hard covers because they were so freaking heavy, but these are the paper one of I think like 10 other shipments that are coming in but um this is good we could at least put together the PR boxes today I wish they'd gone out before release day but I've been waiting for these I was kind of hoping for the hardcover because I have already seen the paper bag because I have a proof copy of it this looks pretty beat up as well all of the orders of author copies I've gotten lately have been so severely damaged <sighs> it's making my life pretty difficult so I'm gonna have to like go through and individually inspect each one very carefully. At least KDP's been really good about giving me refunds when I complain. So the other thing, we'll unbox all of them. This is some of the printed stuff for Kickstarter. So we have some more of the Marionette's bookmarks. I ordered 200 originally. I think I ordered 100 more. I just wasn't gonna have quite enough. Then I got, oh, interesting. Okay, I got more of this art print and this art print. I didn't originally order these from this place, I ordered them from somewhere else, but I ordered these originally from this place, so I decided to do it all at one. And this is not the way the ones I currently have are. The um, like the texture is different. I, it'll be fine. That's just, that's not what I was expecting at all. So we got several bundles of both of those. That's the haul with that one. Got some more craft paper to wrap up the books for more sprayed edges I ran out. Some more envelopes for the swag packs because I also don't have enough. And then because the um, third character art didn't work out, if you don't know what I'm talking about, go watch the previous video. I wanted to get something else to put in the swag pack because I it was missing one thing. I just wanted to add something more. So I ordered a bunch of stickers. So at least I could like throw in some stickers. I don't know. I felt bad about not having the art and I wanted to add something in. So I got three of this like apothecary Halloween kind of vibe pack. They're like, they look like like labels that you put on like potion or like poison bottles kind of thing. Werewolf elixir, eye of the toad, straight up poison. Just like, I don't know, you know, it goes with the vibe. And I got some other just like bookish sticker sets. Oh, this one's like witchy, I forgot about this. A spell book, crystals or moons, candles, that kind of stuff. Then the rest that I got, I don't know if I'm actually gonna send out with the swag packs or if they'll just go in like signed book orders on my shop in the future um, because they're not like marionette specific. They're just like books with flowers. Like they're pretty, they would go well with my contemporaries mostly. These ones I think are all 
about like smutty books and stuff like that which again i feel like goes i mean i guess it does kind of go with the marionettes but felt like it more went with my contemporaries this is funny a court of smut and wingspan <laughs> these are cute anyway i got a ton of stickers i also do tarot cards with my orders and i already ordered a couple more packs of them but i decided to go a slightly different route and get this oracle deck it looks super witchy and like on theme so those will go with the kickstarter as well and then on a completely different note i got a ton of breakable things copies i haven't restocked those since that book basically released and i'm gonna start doing kind of like a box set for all of my poetry books on my on my shop so you'll get all three poetry collections and then i'm gonna add in like annotation tabs and like highlighters so it's just like this whole little I don't know trying something new with the poetry also i don't think i've said this on the channel yet i have started listing damaged books on my shop in the graveyard if you're interested in getting some money off the damages are really minor um i can show you some it varies what the damage is but basically if it's an imperfect book it goes in there and you get a discount that's what this entire box is full of all of the damaged books and i'm sure it's gonna get even more full when i have all of these new shipments come in but like for example i just got these copies of breakable things in and I don't know how well it's like picking up. Almost all of the covers came with ink, like smeared all over it. Can you tell? Do you see what I mean? It's small, like it's just like right there and right there. The camera really is not doing me any favors. But like it bugs me enough that I'm not gonna sell it for full price. I also got a little bent. It's a disaster zone. So here's what we're gonna do. We have some leftover cold pizza for breakfast. <laughs> gonna inspect all the books. I'm gonna ice roll my face because my poor lymph nodes are so swollen. Like I think it's very visibly obvious. I'm gonna add some stickers to the swag packs I've already made. Then probably put together some of the PR packages and then maybe make some more swag packs as well. I did post on Instagram. I just reused an image that I had already made for the cover reveal. So that was nice that i had that there it is yeah i really wish i could remember what the tiktok was that i had pre-made for today because it was good it was it wasn't like repeating something i posted before i'd like come up with something new and i can't fucking remember <laughs> so i'll come up with something i do need to throw together a newsletter i don't know i'm honestly not too stressed about it i feel like i should be making a really big deal out of today and i just maybe i'm just too tired to care right now i don't know thank you if you're watching this if you're someone who posted about the book today i appreciate you you're doing better than i did i have a lot of thoughts and feelings about today in general so we'll get into that later maybe when i feel less zombie like i feel like having these kind of mindless things to do with my hands today it'd be good it's gonna be helpful i have not moved it's now almost noon <laughs> made a tiktok um and i'm making my swag pack. so when they're done they're going in here otherwise this is what our little setup looks like over here <laughs> need about 300 of them so i'm re-watching rain i'm gonna have that all in the background and we're just gonna be working on this for a while this is easy it doesn't take a lot of energy or a lot of brain power and i don't have a lot to give today <laughs> when i tell you pretty much every copy is damaged <laughs> Not just the Ruthless Ends ones, all of the paperbacks. I wasn't sure if I was just being too picky, so I went and pulled out my personal copy of each book to like compare. I'm not being picky. For example, here's the back of the proof copy of Ruthless Ends, just kind of like plain black. This is what they all pretty much look like. Like look how like scuffed up and just like, I don't even know what it would cause it to be so messed up the mat is like peeling off of it see those like shiny parts around the corners like the mat is peeling it's all scratched up all of these too and that's like a minor example i also got stuff like this this poor bubble size looks like it's been to war like the front got bent the back got bent the top got bent same thing with the ruthless ends where like the mat is coming off there's scuffs all over the covers like how does amazon manage to make this many mistakes like i think there might be like five usable copies out of all of these i'll get a refund it'll be fine but i don't have time for this i need like 600 copies of these books all the ruthless ends this is the only one that's not damaged there is one usable copy that was this order which was just like 15 of each you can see it's like split up into a bunch of weird boxes for some reason and we have, I think this is another order of 50. 
another order of, I don't know why this is split into like 10 different boxes. So hopefully the ones that are still on the way will be better. I really don't know what's going on because I've been ordering author copies from Amazon since I started publishing in 2018. And I feel like in the last six months, the quality has been so bad. Like every single time I order books, there's a ton of damaged ones, especially in the last couple of months. It's just gone downhill so much. And I don't really know what to do <laughs> because the alternative being I could order from Ingram Spark, but those ones are so much more expensive per book. It's like over a dollar more per book, which would be fine if you were only ordering a few. But if I'm ordering 600 books, that's an extra $600. And it's such a hassle also to reach out to ask for the refund because I'm gonna have to like take pictures of the damages and like explain everything. It's just, oh, I don't have time for this. I just individually inspected all the books. Guess how many are usable? Two. Just, I don't even know what to say. The weird thing is like a lot of them aren't super damaged it's not like they were really badly handled in the mail they're really really badly scuffed up and scratched so they weren't protected well in the packages but the biggest issue on the majority of them is is like this peeling off of the matte coating on the covers it's on almost every single book in lots of different places and that is just I don't know if it would bother other people, but it bothers me. And like when people order these books, it's a reflection of me. And a lot of people don't make the connection that it's Amazon, not me. So if people are getting damaged books, like I've literally gotten one star reviews on my books before because of the printing quality from Amazon. People are like, the book was fun to read, but pages were falling out or the cover was bent or something like that. And I'm like, I have no control over that. So especially if I'm the one shipping them out, they're coming from me. I don't want them to be all messed up. So... I'm gonna go through again now that I've figured out how many are damaged. I'm gonna go email Amazon and then I'm gonna figure out which copies of Ruthless Ends are most tolerable. <laughs> um, and I'm still gonna put them in my PR boxes because today's release day. I can't wait any longer. I already waited so long for these to get to me and at least those people didn't pay for them. At least they're free. And we're just gonna see if we have some copies that like, they're not perfect, but they're not like so bad that I can't bring myself to send them to someone else, you know? I wanna hear you say yeah, I, 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 So here's what the PR boxes are gonna look like. I ended up getting a bigger box than originally expected. I went with a rose gold for these things because it kind of matches the cover. Put my business card on top. This little swag pack is in here and then that is book four. And what's in here, that one's already sealed, but we have the two pieces of character art. A QR code so they can download book one for free if they haven't read it yet. Tropes and some stuff. Tarot card, bookmark, and some stickers. Now we have about, I think like 170 something swag packs made. I ran out of certain supplies so I had to order some more. That should get us through a while of packing. And I have 10 PR packages ready to go. The labels are on the bottom, you just can't see them. So we will be taking those to the post office tomorrow. And I think Mr. Dean is ready for dinner. And I emailed back for Kit about the shipping for the Kickstarter. I'm not expecting to hear back from them on a Sunday. So hopefully we can get rolling with that soonish. I thought maybe I would only look this rough at the beginning of the vlog and I'd get ready today. It's now 5.30. But I honestly feel no desire or inclination to make this release day like big today. I think because I kind of feel like I celebrated ahead of time with this trip that I just got back from last night. Um, I went to go see my best friend in South Carolina for a couple of days. We went to a concert and hung out. So I kind of feel like I celebrated like right before the release and now it's like, I just got back from vacation and now it's time to get back to work. That's how I feel. So typically around a release, I like to sit down and kind of talk about how the release went, reflections and stuff like that. I think I'm gonna save that for a separate sit down video and this will just be a vlog of today. Yeah, it's just, it's not like the vibe right now that I want to like really get into it and talk for a long time. I'm really tired. I'm not feeling super great. I'm not looking super great. So we will save. I'll definitely do that for this release, but it'll just be a separate video this time around. To be honest, because I've been so like busy with all of this stuff, I haven't even been paying attention to like the release. I haven't been like 
how many sales, what is the ranking. Like, I haven't been looking at any of the numbers. It's actually been quite peaceful. Like I just, it's not like I've been avoiding looking at it, but it, I have, it hasn't even occurred to me to check that kind of stuff this release, which is funny. I feel like I was a little more like, um, addicted to checking those things with like my first couple of books and now it's just like it's the release but also i don't know sales on one day it's not that big of a deal i guess i'm just kind of more chill and relaxed about releases i'm not as stressed because i know it's just one day like things go wrong sometimes as i know every release something goes wrong but nothing is like the kiss of death a book's success is not dependent on a single day especially with indie publishing this makes it sound like it's doing really badly i just checked the numbers i also forgot to send out a newsletter but now it's like 5 30 at night on a sunday and i'm in west coast time so it's like already like 8 30 on like the east coast so i think i might just save it till tomorrow send out the email on monday and it's fine one thing i'm really excited about do i want to get into it do i want to save it for the sit down video i'm gonna save it i'm gonna leave you in suspense i'm gonna make you wait some numbers have pleasantly surprised me some numbers i did not think we were gonna hit i've been keeping an eye on through this whole pre-sale period so we'll get into it in the next video i am i'm pleasantly surprised i actually think i'm gonna end the vlog here i'm gonna find something to eat for dinner i still haven't gotten groceries since i got back from my trip so i don't even know what there is to eat around here i'm gonna pour myself a glass of wine i'm gonna sit in the mustard yellow chair with my cats and we're gonna watch scary movies tonight that's gonna be my celebration <laughs> for release day. That's like all I have the energy for right now. But yeah, thanks so much for watching. Thank you so much if you participated in any way in this kind of low key release day. Thank you for the people who shared on Instagram. And if you're one of my readers, I hope you enjoy it. I know some people have already finished the book. You guys are fast. The paperback and hardcover were live a little bit early. So some people have had it for a while, but I know some of you who've read these as they've come out have had a long wait for this one. So I hope it satisfies i hope it was worth the wait <laughs> i don't know if i said this at the beginning of the video you can get the book the ebook on amazon it's in kindle unlimited the paperback and the hardcover alive on amazon but then also elsewhere barnes and noble bookshop.org all that kind of stuff the audiobook is a little bit delayed it's in production but my narrator's editor who likes help helps her with the files once she's finished narrating um just went through a really terrible personal tragedy so my heart really goes out to her um she says she wants to you know keep up with work and stuff and she thinks she'll have it out within the first like week or two of november but there's going to be a delay in it for that reason just wanted to give you guys an update if you were waiting on the audiobook it's coming but i don't know exactly when and then if you ordered the kickstarter stuff uh, i think i'm going to post another update on kickstarter letting people know there might be even more delays if i keep getting these full shipments of books that are all damaged i promise i'm going to ship them out as soon as i can but i'm not willing to ship out books that i don't feel like are up to my quality standards yeah just wanted to add that we'll talk we'll talk more in the next video if you have questions specifically for that video feel free to drop those in the comments and i will just see you guys in the next one very very soon bye no.